It is 5:13, and next weekend a big event is happening at the Harrisburg Middle School. Youth athletes from yeah. the tri-state area will be on the soccer field. It's for the 13th annual Michael Heron Memorial Tournament. Brooks Lyra is live this morning with the details. Yeah, good morning, Evan Day. Well, right now I'm at the middle school and I'm actually inside because it is a little too cold to be out there on the soccer field. But this is where the event, one of the locations, will be taking place next Saturday and Sunday. And joining me first this morning is Greg McCullough, one of the organizers of this tournament. So thank you so much for waking up dark and early with me, as I always like to say. Go ahead and fill me in on what's going to be happening next weekend. Okay, well, we have probably about uh, 30 teams coming from all over the area. Uh, they'll come as far north as Effingham and as far south as um, Metropolis and about um, as far west as uh, Murfreesboro. And uh, we have six teams local that from our local program here. And uh, it, probably about 400 players and maybe that translates to over 1,000 fans. So it's just a great event for our community and also the kids that get to participate. Absolutely. And what age groups um, is this for the athletes that are coming out? Is a, a range of uh, ages? Yeah, it'll be all the way from uh, kindergarten all the way through eighth grade. And, you know, this is the 13th year for this event. It does honor the memory of a local student, a local soccer player. Go ahead and fill in the viewers on at home. Yeah, we're really happy to do this for Dr. Heron to honor his son and his memory. And we weren't able to do it last year, and we're so happy to have the tournament back this year. And um, he actually this year is going to do something really special. It's the 20th anniversary of uh, his son's death. And he's going to provide uh, free T-shirts and food for all the participants because he really wants to make it a special celebration this year in particular. Absolutely, a really great way to go ahead and give back and keep that memory alive. And we're actually going to be talking to one of the athletes who likes to participate in this tournament. And we're actually going to be talking to Doc Roger Heron himself here a little bit later on the show. But for now, Nick, I'm going to go ahead and toss it over to you. It is a cold morning out there. Uh, I think freezing is the right word. Freezing, frigid, yeah, it is cold outside. And, of course, we've got a lot of frost as well. We've got freeze warnings in effect across the entire region. 